So today's topic is how to read the connector drawing. Many of you have asked many questions on the connectors. What we thought before going to the advanced level on the connector. Just uh, we want to give you the basic understanding about the connector. We will address all these questions in the upcoming videos on the connector. So as earlier I said, if you don't like the content of the particular video, we stop making the content on the particular video. One example of the recent video that is we have made on 48 volt architecture, how it is helping in the wiring harness. But you can see many subscriber has watched this particular video and very few have liked this particular video. So see like and comment are the only way to come to know that you want more videos on the same topic or not if let's move the today's topic so how to read the connector drawing so in connector drawing today we will try to discuss all these uh, topics so in the title box what are the information is there then drawing part number then connector part number third angle projection they have mentioned in the you know drawing then designer approval detail, tolerance example, then revision history, symbol definition, knots, then different coding on the same connector, part number, list with the child part of the connector, then connector numbering and the mating. Though all these particular points we will discuss, then we will see the front side of the connector and back side of the connector, how they are related to the wiring harness and how much importance they have in the wiring harness. Then we will see the 2D drawing connector, one particular view which is placed here, 2D drawing of the connector and then we will come on this particular point. You can see on my screen, this is the 2D drawing of the connector. So we will try to address each and every point in this particular video. So first, this is the connector from the active. This is the four pole connector. We will try to see the first the title box in this. So this is the title box where you can see here, these are the information about the designers. So the person who has created this particular uh, 2D drawing and who is the approver. Then you can see the drawing number. So there is a difference between the drawing number and the part number if you see here. So first the drawing number it is coming 934. Part number of this connector is 214, 2158. So drawing number and the part number of the connector would be different. And then you will see the in the title box the size, then scale that it is node the one is to one, then third angle projection. So here this particular projection is given in all the drawings which are made for the particular component where you have given the section. So there are total four types of projection: first angle projection, second angle projection, third angle projection, and fourth angle projection. In India, we we use first angle projection and third angle projection. Most of the drawing you will get the third angle projection. Then you will have this particular tolerance table. So here you can see that if you are your frame range is zero to twenty, then this is the plus minus zero point one five. This is the tolerance you can take. Then if you are going 20 to 30, then you can take 0 0.2. Then you can take 30 to 70. And similarly for the other things also like 300 to 400, then plus minus 1.2. So these are the tolerance. So how this tolerance helps in understanding the drawing. One example I just take that in this particular drawing. So first view we will just see the so here type 201 is written. We will come back to this particular type what it is. But first we will see the tolerance. So in this particular dimension. So this dimension written like 15.75. So from this point to this point. And suppose this is a one side of the connector right. So other side also we is going to be met for this particular like if it is a like male or female so first thing i just tell you this is a female okay you can see from this particular connector this is a female side of the connector right so the male connector matting will be happening right from the male to female so when matting will be happening so suppose sometimes you will be having the issue in the matting that particular connector is not matting. So there are very different uh, ways to find out why this particular connector is not matting, right? So the first thing what we check the dimension whether particular dimension are matching 
to male to female or not so suppose this particular distance 15.75 is with matching with the male side of the connector it is like 15.7 and male side it is like 15.76 so if that is the dimension from the male side then as per this tolerance table this should not be an issue you can see here 0 to 20 you can go plus minus 0 0.15 but suppose if this particular value from the for the male side is ranging like 15 or 14.775 we were trying to say like the tolerance the table which is given how it it can be helpful when you are matting with male to female so this is the female dimension 15.75 and male side suppose the dimension 14.14.75 so the difference is coming plus minus one and which is not allowed by this this tolerance table so that would be one of the cause that okay this is the tolerance or the dimension is not matching with the matting connector like female and male but suppose the male side the dimension is 15.76 so what is the difference so difference is 0 0.1 and this particular 0 0.1 will come under this range so this should not be the case of the the reason of the not matting the connector so this is how this tolerance table are used and it is very helpful once you will go in this using this particular table you will come to know that how the tolerance table plays its role in making the technical decisions now coming to the revision history so in revision history if you see here so as its name says the revision history is the changes whatever changes you have made the 001 this was the revision so here the standard format is like date then you have the revision then the particular changes what is the which zone you have the revision change description that what are the change you have done in this then then authorization then drawing and then apv all these are the name of the designer and approver the first level approval and second level approval so if you see that this particular uh, particular connector here has seventh revision till seventh revision and this is the change the last they have done updated part availability okay so this particular revision history gives you this details and here if you see the symbol definition in this so this particular table gives you the symbol definition so one particular symbol what is the meaning of that particular symbol then you have the notes so in notes they are very very you know useful when you have to use what are the information you have to collect this is the technical information which is required for you to select the connector as well so this is the force to insert the connector okay so sometimes you will see in the notes also the technical information so i will just go in the left side and then i will try to explain you from the left side there are around seven to eight views they have given and what is the difference between all these views so they have written type 20 then type 207 i was saying to you that i will explain what does it mean so type 20 and type 207 means that they have the different coding so this particular connector if you see here this is the coding here okay in this particular connector but if you type 207 if you see the connector coding is different connector coding is different provision of locking os also but the internal structure of the connector it is not this particular locking i am talking about the internal structure of the connector which is used to lock and also these particular sorry these particular structure or these particular you can say coding are used or helpful to the locking provision as well you can see here the 208 has totally different locking then 203 is also having the different locking this also has different locking and this one is also have the different locking you can see so each and every connector is having the different locking and then they are giving the different type 203 type 208 and type 204 so this is how these views are created based on the coding
now coming to the construction alternate construction so this is the front view and this is the back view okay these are the different view they have given like front view top view so to understand the better connector geometry and you can see here this is the front view and this is the section view which they have given and this is the condition they have given the delivery of the condition when your connector is going to be transported to your plant where the particular connector is going to assemble that this is the position then you can see here the different different dimension of the connector with the different sections and it helps you to understand the dimension geometry of the particular connector as i told you earlier also that these dimension are not given for the fun they have some meaning and when you will have some issue then these dimension plays very critical role to solve the issues as i told you one particular example when there is a issue in mating the connector from male to female side dimensions are same or not then these things are very helpful these are the different so this is the front view of the connector okay this is the four pole connector and this is the back view of the connector and here these numberings also given 1 2 3 4 so these numbering plays very critical role when you are giving the signal the particular suppose power supply you are giving to one and power ground you are giving to the fourth pin so to defining these signals for one particular pin is very critical and you should know that which pin number is assigned what okay so this is the one part uh, of the connector and other side would be device right so on device side suppose this is the female and other side would be the device right and device will be having the male connector so in male connector the numbering should be exact opposite i will tell you how it is this is what i was trying to say the connector numbering and mating so this is the front side of the connector this one okay and this is the back side of the connector here you can see 1 to 4 so these numbering uh, you know this is the back side of the connector and this particular if i ask you one question when you are creating the 2d drawing of the wiring harness so when you are keeping this view in the 2d drawing that particular connector will always would be the back side of the connector okay back side of the connector so this would be the view which is placed in your drawing not the front view okay so in this 2d drawing this would be the view and this particular view plays very very critical role when you are giving the signal suppose pin number 1 is used for the power supply okay power and pin number 4 is used for the ground okay but if you have given something different like pin number 1 you have given for the for the ground and pin number 4 you have given for the power supply then it would be a issue so always you have to give your numbering based on the mating side like device side so in device suppose suppose 4 is this 3 is this 2 is this 1 is this okay so mating in device side i am talking about this is the front side of the connector so this would be same okay so let me let me uh, just give you one good example of this but all these information like this is used for the cargo lamp this is made by yajaki then what type of connector it is four pole then female unsealed it and uh, this is the color of this particular connector then what is the supplier you know who is the supplier for this connector so you can check this supplier then this is the node or connector name you can say then the cavity then circuits color types and option code option code is nothing but you can say which particular option whether the you are using for the base model or the mid model or the high model okay this is how the option code are driven then what type of plating you are using what type of cavity clip plug you are using so all these information you have to give in this particular table when you are creating and this particular tab uh, this particular information we can take from the connector to the drawing i will show you from where we can take those information so this is the 
view which I am talking here. So this is the wiring view and this is the view which we place in the 2D drawing. I hope you understand. If still you do not understand, please comment in the comment box. This is not the view which we place in the 2D drawing for making the wiring harness. So let me tell you about the numbering of this particular. So this is my device. Okay. This is my device and this is my connector. Okay. This is my connector from the wiring harness. Correct. So this particular connector is a female connector. Correct. Female connector. And this particular connector is a male connector. Okay. So here we what we are trying to say. So male connector will also will be having some numbering like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And female connector will also having the numbering. So as I told shown you here, you can see here, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So just for understanding. So suppose for female side, I have given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then male side connector, this particular side connector or this device side connector, this one will be having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, 8. This is how the numbering should be given for the male connector. I hope you understand. Then only when you will mirror image this thing, then one will meet to the one. Sorry, this one. So this particular one will meet to the, this one. Then two will meet to this two. Then three will meet to this three. Then four pin number will meet to the four pin number. I hope. You got the point what we are trying to say here and how this particular numbering will define. So, so here you will be having one question that does the person who is creating the schematic or the 2D drawing, does he has to take care of all these things? The answer is yes. The company which are working on like one person or two person, they have to take care single handedly, but the company which where one person who is taking of the library the person who is taking the library he has to define your connector numbering like this okay this is how he has to define so that connector numbering should not go wrong if it will go wrong then whole circuit will go wrong if still you have some confusion then you just let me know the simple way of to understand this that you just take the mirror image of male to female then only this male will ma uh, male pinning will match to the female connector and one side always would be male and other side would be female generally male connector would be on a device side and female connector would be on a wiring harness side i hope you got this point let me tell you this particular information how to get this particular information just let me erase this so i told you like cavity plug or seal this information how to get it from the connector part number drawing so just let me go again to the connector drawing and then we will show you you can see here these are the part number this is the part number and these are the information about the connector secondary lock part number seal connector then lock cpa 